Hey there! Thanks to Donerson, back on the air, back in business here. That uh, old computer of mine is still trying to load Windows 11, which I never signed up for, and it like locks it up, and I can't do any videos on that. But the new computer has enough memory to make uh, good videos in for a long time, I sure hope. Okay, well, I'll show you around the shop here and show you what I'm doing. Okay, I'll be back. Well, when you're grinding carbide, you got to be very careful of the dust. And uh, I'm mindful of it. And I'm going <laughs> to be grinding uh, a lot more carbide and uh, videoing it. And uh, I found a way to mitigate the dust. Uh, by accident and uh, I'm not creating huge amounts of it so uh, I found a vintage uh, vacuum cleaner uh, it's a filter queen and it's right down there and I looked them up and this one's about in the 1970s vintage and uh, you can still get them and uh, they're about 1200 bucks. They're not cheap. And uh, I think that one was 5 bucks over here at the uh, church uh, thrift store. But the filters were uh, 40 bucks, I think, <laughs> for it. But it uh, filters the air before it uh, releases it back into the room. And uh, carbide has a very distinct smell. And so this is mitigating the dust for me. I don't know if it will for you, but if you're going to grind carbide, you're going to have to do something about that dust. Okay, now what I, what this is at this end is an easy way for me to do nose radiuses on carbide tools. Okay. And I, and, I, and I put a vitrified uh, wheel in there for like high speed. So I got this uh, little addition here, this little wing that tilts up. And I got it set up so I can do a nose radius on that. And I'll, I'll set up and I'll show you. Okay, I got that wheel rolling there. And now here's a lathe tool here. I've got a, a, a 364 nose radius on there. And I use a, a, a loop to uh, gauge that. And uh, here's an old tool that's uh, picked around, old Iskar tool of uh, <laughs> grade A. And <laughs> That's pretty brittle stuff. So I thought I'd go ahead and spot to a sharp point. It's not a fretting tool, I don't think. Anyway, it's a uh, pretty uh, uh, point on that. So I'm going to go ahead and radius that using this wheel. And uh, I've got the magnifying light here. Let me stand back. You can see how this is. And I'll pick that uh, vacuum on. I think maybe, yeah, you should be able to see what I'm doing for my skin. Yeah, that's it. Okay, I can clean that wheel just a little bit. This is one of those eBay wheels. And it's got quite a lot of diamond on it. It's about one baby thick. I think that should be pretty good. And I'll get this magnifier. I hope I don't get more of it. And I'm trying to get an idea of how I'm doing with this. I'm kind of trying to go evenly over uh, the diamond, and this is not running perfectly true. There's spots on this field that aren't contacting. 
but that's okay. You just hold her back and let it go on. And it grows pretty quick. You see that radius sun forming on there? And this is what I'm going to gauge it with here. And it's indicating a magnifying loop. This one is an SPI, SPI scale loop 7 power. So I'll gauge that. It's a little more square than I want it. It's looking good. I'm going to. I want a pretty good radius on it, so I gotta, I gotta bring it around a little bit more. I think my megaphone oh, is too close. I hope I'm not taking off. <laughs> you ever see you be doing good with the bathroom? I don't smell any carbide and I ground some away. I need to grind this one side of this uh, little deal here in my wrist to get more swing. Yeah. Now, carbide grinds more like raw than metal. Wait. I don't know, how to see ground or something. Okay, that's working out pretty good. Get over to the little bit of the edge of that wheel. This wheel was not, was actually kind of a bonus. I was after uh, uh, an angled wheel, and this was along with it. But I think a, a, a brand new American wheel like this is a couple hundred bucks. And I don't know about the import one, except for that uh, Shars 6 inch cutoff wheel, 35,000 stick, it seems to work good. That's about 70 bucks off eBay, and I want about 90 bucks on uh, the website that cars here. Okay, I'm just kind of petting up. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, I think you can peek around that. Okay, yeah, you can see around that edge. So now what I'll do, you see that? It's just uh, pulling that, smooth that off. It's already pretty darn sharp. The little shave uh, thumbnail. Oh, shave thumbnail. Maybe I wouldn't hold me that out, but not there. There we go. Okay. <laughs> to make these aluminum things here, I've uh, been using the. Uh, jig boring machine and uh, I'm going to uh, be able to do videos on this because I can do longer videos it's hard to do short videos and uh, then pick up you know I'm talking about <clears throat> probably 30 minute videos but uh, they're not going to get much attention anyway you know, that, uh, you know, most people's attention spans about five minutes. So uh, um, it'd be easier to do it in like 25 or 30 minute videos. Little steps and idio crazy things about the machine. <laughs> so, okay, we'll be back with that. And I think I'll try to load this video. It'll probably be a pretty short one. It, uh, sun is coming out it has been stormy and i haven't been able to do anything out there with that drill press but uh 
that's coming up. And thanks for the donations. It's really helping me, and I can uh, do a lot more uh, videos with content. Okay.